Hello everyone, this is King Frost and today's new video, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be playing Google Stadia. Now this video is titled The Stadia Experience and I have been playing Google Stadia for a while now and I'm not going to lie, Google Stadia is quite fun. Like, I know not that many people actually you know, use this service but let me tell you, it's it's a really good service. Um. I mean, uh, during launch, it was really bad, but at least they got a lot of things right, like, like lag and stuff. So right now, we are actually using the free pro subscription, which actually took about two months. And I've been playing games like Grid, Destiny 2, A Player, uh, uh, Unknown's Battlegrounds, Guilt. I haven't played The Elder Scrolls or The Little Nightmares just yet, but I'm going to play it soon. I finished this game, though. Um so the recording is going to be 720p because uh my internet is kind of sucks but i hope you guys will enjoy this stadia experience all right so we're going to start up grid which is actually a pretty cool racing game i I really like it. It's, it's cool, but I haven't finished the game. I literally started. Nothing is done. Well, many people actually say that this game is quite short. I mean, Grid 2019 is not really the most popular game. Oh my god, it's kind of loud. Let me fix that audio real quick. That should be better. Okay. So we're just going to press start. I don't know if I'm going to use controller because I think controller is quite harder to play in this game. Like the physics is so weird. But we are going to be playing career mode and we're going to try and play Super Turos Terror's Night Endurance. It's going to be one round. We're going to be playing Okotama GP. All right. Oh my God, it's quite laggy. So if it's laggy to you, I'm sorry. It's just internet problems. Okay, should be for a long race now. Yes. I kind of suck. The physics are alright, but holy smokes, the audio is so loud. I gotta put in probably to 10 dB. Minus 10 dB. Sorry, I'm using OBS Studio right now. And I'm not trying to make this really loud for you guys to hear. I think this should be appropriate volume, I hope. All right, so we're already at like 160th mile, miles per hour. Okay, we're going to try to go through that straight, and I already crashed. Oh, my God. Wait, how do you... Oh, I forgot how to use the replay button. Oh, no. Oh, no. The lag is coming in. Uh... Should I send it in? Oh. I was actually thinking about recording Google Stadia for a while, so this is it, boys and gals. We have this. This is the Stadia experience. Now, if you have internet that's like, let's say, 20 megabits or more, um, it's actually pretty. It's actually good for you to play. Like, I think it requires you to at least have 20 megabits. I mean, it kind of depends, but you. But you must run it on Ethernet because running this on Wi-Fi will literally just destroy your, your gaming experience while using Stadia. And that's a fact. Alright, so let's try to see the interior view. Oh, oh, I already crashed. Oh, oh. This is why I don't complete this game. It's just... I don't know. In my previous titles of playing, you know, the previous grid games, this one just... Uh, of course, it's eye candy if you're playing it at, like, what, 4K or 1080p, but... At the same time, like, I feel like there's lack of content. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of cars in this game, but... Wow, I got track penalty for that. Are you serious? Oh, this is what I don't like about this AI, bro. They they don't care. They just push you around. Reminds me of Need for Speed Shift. And here we are. So this is going to be Destiny 2. I actually played some of it. It was actually a pretty cool game. But I wonder why people like Destiny 1 more than 2. Like, I've never... Um, I'm not really heavily interested in the Destiny title, but I still play it for fun because, of course, I love SPS shooters. But um, also, I think that my uh, subscription for this service actually ends on July 11th. So that's what I'm trying to finish. Um, most of these Stadia free programs, um, as you see here, Bungie, Bungie Software. So... The advantages of Stadia, of course, is that its console, whatever, or its PCs um, that, that you stream upon, it actually... Whoa. What's this? Error. Destiny 2 servers are not available. For more information, visit help.bungie.net. What? So, seems that Destiny 2 servers are down, which is a big bummer i did not see that coming but the thing about google stadia is that it, i feel like it has a fast ssd or m.2 storage where you can literally load games this quick um it, it just surprised me like it's really fast whatever hardware they use like it's capable like probably they have a quadro rtx or something just to keep it running it's amazing that's the only thing I like about those streaming services, but you know, it also comes out of price. Alright, so the next thing we might try is, let's say, PUBG. I, I, I mean, not many people play PUBG, of course, but I'm just going to try a little bit of it. Um, even, I, even I'm not really interested in the Battle Royale genre, as it just gets a bit boring at certain times. But, uh, it's a meh. So let's try to skip this. I don't think you can skip this. Headset connected and your mic your mic is on. I almost said mic. What is wrong with me? So we're gonna see how fast the screen loads. It's gonna be crazy, I'm not gonna lie. And look at that. Quick loading. So if I was actually going to play this on my actual PC right now. It would probably take probably like maybe three four minutes just to make just to make it to the to the menu screen because I would I would just put it on my hard drive as I don't have space for my I don't have space for my SSD I want to keep my SSD you know uh, space clean as you can see so we're gonna try and do a random map oh that could squad oh I'm not gonna do squad I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do solo let's see if anybody is actually in solo okay so the thing about it the thing about stadia is that it, as you can see there's this logo on top so it basically tells you who you are so i feel like um players on your i think yeah, of course pubg supports crossplay so it's like pubg thinks uh stadia is actually a console which is crazy so it has been 25 seconds in and nobody look like, look like they're gonna do matchmaking what a bummer. That did not end too well, did it? So it seems that, uh, what they call it, PUBG decided that there's no matches because let me tell you, the game is quite boring. So we played Grid and we tried to play Destiny 2, but it seems like their servers are down and we tried to play PUBG. Where's PUBG? Okay, it's up here. So now the next game we're going to play is Guild. So I already finished this game and I'm not going to lie, this game is really really good but even though if it's a stadia ex exclusive title it's it's just a good game and so it's, it's not really jump scarish or anything it's still a horror game but like it bas this game basically revolves around bullying and what it can actually do so as you can see it deals with sensitive topics like bullying of course and it basically so basically, I'm not going to try to spoil the story or even the end. I'm not going to show you the end because, you know, if you guys were, were ever going to play this, um, 
you just have to investigate by yourself. But basically, this girl named uh, I think was it Sally is trying to find her cousin Emily, who's been bombarded with let's say evil thoughts not evil thoughts but like let's say you know thoughts about bullying and stuff wow it's really dark out here i'm not gonna lie um let's see here so there's not much to explore over here sadly there's still monsters and stuff but uh let's try to explore around this place so there is three endings the the um, one ending is where, I mean, okay, so there's three endings. There's basically the bad ending, the good ending, and the true ending. That's all. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil everything. Oh, I got all my equipment back. So I'm not, so mind you that probably at the end of the game we're gonna have all your uh, equipment stolen. That's one thing I can tell you. Oh shoot! Looks like he noticed me. Actually, I really don't care. I feel like attacking monsters now. Like, it doesn't really bother me anymore. All right. All right. So he's dead. Um. Is somebody else coming for me? Wait, how do I go back inside the school? Okay, I have to go in here. No. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and enter the main building. Wait, somebody already spotted me. I don't care. Wait, where is he? I don't The good thing about this game is that there is no game overs so even if you die Even if you die it won't really matter Because you'll still try and try again, so That's that's one thing I like So we're gonna try enter the school now it's I don't know if I can call this an indie game because literally a studio was behind this, but it's still a great game and I hope it is it's gonna be ported to PC and consoles like let's say the Xbox One and the PS4. That'll actually be pretty dang neat. Uh alright, so what do we have here? So we have fire and stuff and mannequins. I'm not trying to make this video too long, so I'm gonna end it right here and yes. This is the Stadia experience. There might be some lag here and there, but either or, Google Stadia is at a place right now which is really, really neat. Now, of course, this is not a sponsor or anything because why would I get sponsors at this time in this day and age where I have about 289 subscribers, I think. But l 69.99, nice. But anyways, um, it's it's pretty cool. Like I really like. How they try their best to get as many games into their catalog as possible. And uh, especially with the pro games. So you could get literally get free games for pro. Now I don't know what's gonna happen when my subscription end. I I'm pretty sure I have to buy these games, of course, but I'm not gonna do that because uh what's the point? If it's free, if if a streaming service was free, I would definitely go at it. But if it's if a streaming service was paid, I really don't want it it's not that it's bad but like i mean you already paid for your internet and stuff so why pay more for you know streaming games but i get it if people have a bad pc and they need something to stream on i guess i guess you can go at it street stadia is literally stable and, and they finally added support for android where you can actually stream your games on android you remember it was literally limited for pixel devices and some high-end flagship phones but now you can actually stream on Android. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, bye.